Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the Linux thread creation and management of the execution of threads. What are the flags that is passed in the clone function and the, how the flags are different from the fork function call inside the clone function call. Linux uses the fork system call to duplicate a process by the traditional functionality of creating a process. It also provides support for creating a thread including a clone system call. By this, Linux cannot distinguish between a process and thread. Rather, in fact, it uses a term task rather than the process and thread when referring to a flow of control within a system. Now, when Linux is using the clone system call, a set of flags are passed to it to determine that how much sharing is to take place between the parent and the child task. Now, we will discuss about some of the flags today. The first flag which we'll discuss is the clone FS flag. In this clone FS flag, only the file system information is shared among the parent and the child task. The next flag is the clone VM flag. By this, the same memory space is shared by the all task. The next flag is the clone SIGHAND flag. Now by this clone SIGAN flag, all the signal handlers are shared. And the last one is the clone list of open files or clone files flag. In this clone files flag, all the list of open files are shared. Now for example, consider when the clone function is invoked with the set of flags, this clone fs, clone vm, clone sighand and clone files, then the parent and child task will share the same working current directory as the same file system information, the same memory space of the main memory, the same IO devices like the device drivers and device controllers, and the same signal handlers for signal handling asynchronous and synchronously. Now when clone is invoked in this fashion, it is similar to creating a thread like a normal thread creation. Since the parent and child task are sharing all the resources available to them. Now if no set of flags are passed to the clone while invoking, then no sharing is taking place and the clone system call is same as the fork system call of duplicating process. Now the developer can allow the sharing of level in a Linux architecture because of the way the threads are represented in the Linux structure. This kernel structure contains a special type of structure known as stack struct, which in turn stores not only the stores of the data, but the pointer to the data structures that actually stores the data for the threads. What are these threads include? It include the virtual memory or the file system information and the list of open files data structure. In this way, these flags can be set by a clone system call. When the fork system call is made on the threader, then it can create a new thread or duplicate a thread by copying all the associated data structure from the parent to the child task. But when clone is invoked, it also creates a new thread 
but not by copying of the data structure, but the child task contains a pointer to the data structures of the parent thread. So in this way, Linux contains the thread of controlling fork and clone system call. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.